So in inferential statistics, when we have a research question, we also come up with two hypotheses. One is called the null hypothesis, and one's called the alternative hypothesis. Null means nothing. It literally means nothing. It's, it's, there's no difference. There's no effect, no effect size. There's absolutely nothing's going on. It's kind of the boring one. And that's what we're really testing in null hypothesis testing. We're saying, if this is true, if there's nothing going on, there's no difference, um, then how strange would it be to see the results that we're seeing, or even more strange? Um, so let's take a look at what the null and alternative... Oh, and, and with the alternative, there's two possible types of alternative. One is that you're just in one direction, maybe higher than, lower than, greater than, more than, faster than. That would be what's called a one-tailed test. And that's saying, no, they're not equal. They're in this direction. The other type of alternative hypothesis would be a two-tailed hypothesis. And in that way, you don't really specify which direction it's going in. You're just saying, yeah, they're not equal. It could be that they're greater than. It could be that they're less than. Um, we're not saying that, but we're testing either the null, that they're equal, versus the alternative, that they're not equal, but it could be in either direction. So let's, let's take a look at several examples here. Um, if we had the research question, are EMU student teams different from average groups of people playing trivia in terms of trivia knowledge? Null, nothing. So the null hypothesis would be that they aren't different. They're not different. There is no difference. In other words, whatever the, whatever the average score for trivia knowledge is, the EMU teams would also have that same average. The alternative here is a two-tailed because of the words different from. It doesn't, the research question doesn't really say whether it's testing if they're less than or worse than or if they're better than. So because it doesn't tell us a direction, this would be a two-tailed alternative. Does a particular teaching method increase scores on a standardized exam? Null hypothesis would be no, it doesn't increase. There is no increase. After you take this teaching method, your scores on the standardized exam will be on average exactly what they were if you didn't do this teaching method. That's null hypothesis. The alternative in this case is one-tailed because of this word increase. So we're really only concerned with whether the teaching method increases the scores. If it decreases, uh, we don't care about it. So the null is that there's no impact whatsoever. The alternative here is that the method increases the scores. And notice that is a causal. Uh, you'd probably want to experiment for that if, if possible uh, in order to show that causal relationship. Uh, does a particular rehabilitation method reduce the amount of time needed to recover? So uh, the null hypothesis would be that the method doesn't change the time amount to recover. If you do the method or if you don't do the method, on average, you takes the same amount of time to recover. Uh, One-tailed alternative here, because we have the word reduce. Uh, and this is also a causal word, so it'd be nice to have an experiment here to test this. Um, but reducing is a direction too. If the rehabilitation method increases the amount of time needed to recover, we don't care about it. Or if it's not effective, we don't care. But if it's reducing the amount of time, uh, then that's what could make it really valuable. So that's a one tail again. Does the expectation of good weather affect how generous someone is? Null hypothesis, no, there's no, no impact whatsoever. Whether a person expects good weather or doesn't expect good weather, it doesn't, expect their, uh, doesn't impact their generosity level. Um, the alternative here is two-tailed, because the word effect doesn't give us a direction. Could be that the expectation of good weather makes people more generous. Could be that it makes it less generous. Uh, in either case, we would have an answer here. So the alternative is two-tailed. Are there unsafe levels of feces in Ohio's swimming areas? Null hypothesis, no. The feces levels are just fine. They're um, whatever they are at the safe level. Um, unsafe would be the bacteria levels are beyond that unsafe level. So 
that would be one-tailed alternative hypothesis. Uh, and a little follow-up meme there. Can people voluntarily lower their pulse? Again, this is a causal word. Be nice to have an experiment. An observational study wouldn't give us quite as good of evidence for something like this. But the null hypothesis here would be that you can't. You can't lower your pulse rate just by thinking about peaceful thoughts. The alternative would be um, that you can lower it. And again, there's a directional word, so this would be a one-tailed alternative. And by the way, uh, you definitely can. We've tested this out in class before. Does listening to positive song lyrics impact a person's behavior? Null hypothesis, it does not. Null hypothesis would be listening to the positive song lyrics has absolutely no impact on a person's behavior. The alternative here is a two-tailed, because that word impact doesn't hold a direction. It could be that it impacts them in a positive way, and it could be that it impacts them in a negative way, maybe. It seems hard to believe here, but the way the question is worded, um, we don't have a direction tucked into the research question, so it would be a two-tailed alternative. Do college students who volunteer experience greater social bonds than those who do not? Null hypothesis is no, it doesn't matter if you volunteer or not, you're gonna have the same average level of social bonding. The alternative hypothesis here would be that you, it would be a one-tailed uh, greater social bonds. So this is only in the direction of greater. If it's lower social bonds, we're not really concerned with it, we're not interested in it. This research question is specifically looking for whether or not there's greater bonds. So that's a, uh, a one-tailed there. Is there a difference between EMU's women's basketball team and men's basketball team in free throw shooting accuracy? Null hypothesis, no difference. Men's average, women's average, exactly the same. Alternative hypothesis, there is a difference. It could be in either direction. Maybe the women's is better, maybe the men's is better. So this is a two-tailed alternative. Do females talk more than males in a male-female relationship? Null hypothesis, no. Females and males talk uh, on average the same in a male-female relationship. However, the more than gives us a direction for that um, alternative. So this is a one-tailed alternative. Uh, do females talk more than males? If we wanted a two-tailed alternative question, it would be uh, do males and females talk different amounts in male-female? wouldn't have the direction there built into the question. Does dark chocolate improve vision sensitivity? Uh, null hypothesis, no, it doesn't improve vision sensitivity. Uh, alternative is uh, it's one tail direction because of that word improve. And again, this is also a causal word. So we'd really want an experiment here to check. And, and I believe that it actually did in this experiment. I forget exactly the details. Okay, last one, does sadness impact memory? So null hypothesis would be no, uh, sadness does not impact memory whatsoever, it doesn't have any good or bad impact. The alternative here would be two-tailed because that word impact doesn't give away a direction on whether it improves or uh, hurts the memory. Either one um, would be an answer of yes to this question. So our alternative here is two-tailed.